Hi students, all of you welcome to the class. In this class, we are going to discuss some of the previous MCQs in your material. Page number 514 to 517. The question is, question number 80. CH2 minus single bond C double bond O single bond CH3 and CH2 double bond C single bond O minus single bond CH3 R. The answer is option A, that is resonance structures. What are meant by resonance structures? The structures of the same species which differ in the position of bonds but not in the position of atoms. See this one, here the position of atoms are CH2, here also same CH2. Here the position of atoms are carbon and oxygen, here also carbon and oxygen. Here the position of atoms are carbon and hydrogens, here also carbon and hydrogens. So the position of atoms are not going to change, only the position of bonds are going to change. See this one. Here single bond is there between CH2 and C, but here between CH2 and C double bond is there. Like that between carbon and oxygen here double bond is there, between carbon and oxygen here single bond is there. So these type of structures are called as resonance structures. So once again, what are resonance structures? The structures of the same species which differ in the position of bonds but not in the position of atoms are called as resonance structures. Take the screenshot. In the chemical bonding chapter also, we discussed about uh, resonance structures. Once check that chemical bond chapter. Next question number 85. Among the following, the aromatic compound is, which type of compounds are aromatic? Aromaticity. The compounds which are going to obey Huckel's rule. Compounds which are going to obey the Huckel's rule. In general, they are called as aromatic compounds. Huckel's rules means uh, having 4n plus 2 pi electrons. The rule is called as Huckel's rule. Here, n stands for 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Yes, if you go for option A, see the option A. In the option A, this is a cyclopropane. This is called as cyclopropene. With positive charge, this is called as cyclopropenyl cyclopropenyl cation or cyclopropenyl carbocation. In this one, the number of rings is equal to 1. Here n value is taken as 1, that is 4 into 1, 1 or 0. Actually here n naught stands for number of rings. Sorry my dear students. Here n is an integer value. Here n is taken as 0, that is 4 into 0 plus 2 pi electrons. So here how many pi electrons are there? 2 pi electrons. According to the formula, it should contain two pi electrons. Say this one, this is a pi bond. Pi bond is containing two electrons. That is two pi electrons are present in cyclopropenyl cation or cyclopropenyl carbocation. Hence, this is an example of aromatic species. And one more thing, if you observe this carbon, double bonded carbon, double bonded carbons are in sp2 hybridization. The double bonded carbons undergoes sp2 hybridization and it is a carbocation carbon. Here you can see a carbocation carbon. The carbocation carbon also undergoes sp2 hybridization. sp2 hybridization indicating the species is planar. So to become aromatic, the species must expect two conditions. First condition is the species must contain 4n plus 2 pi electrons where n stands for integer value, it may be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Second condition is the species, given species must be planar. How can we say the given species is planar means uh, we have to check all the carbons and their hybridizations. If all the carbons in the given species are undergoing sp2 hybridization, then we can say it is a planar. So finally, the main two conditions for aromaticity is the species must be planar and the species must follow Huckel's rule, that is 4n plus 2 pi electrons rule. Yes, it is an important model regarding aromaticity for NEAT and JE 
most important model aromaticity is the most important topic let's take the screenshot next question is question number 95 the structure of isobutyl group in an organic compound is see this one isobutyl all of you know butyl what is the formula of butyl group the formula of butyl group is single bond c4 h9 it can be represented in four different uh, manners first one is carbons all the four carbons are taken in a straight line remaining are hydrogens ch3 ch2 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 single bond so this is the spaces indicating the formula single bond c4h9 and all the carbons are in a straight line that means it is normal so this group is called as normal butyl group right and second one again i am taking the carbons but now i am taking three carbons only in the chain one carbon is in the branch now remaining are hydrogens ch3 here it is ch3 here it is ch here it is ch2 single bond now what is the formula of this group carbons 1 2 3 4 carbons are there hydrogens 3 plus 3 6 plus 1 7 7 plus 2 9 so this group is also having the formula like a single bond c4h9 this is similar to butyl group similar to butyl group in the formula and in the normal butyl group single bond ch2 single bond is there here also single bond ch2 single bond is there so this group is like this group then it is called as isobutyl isobutyl group so remember the formula and remember the structure the structure is ch3 single bond ch single bond ch3 single bond ch2 single bond the group is called as isobutyl group so answer is this is the answer and your option is if you see the option c in your material if you observe option c what is given in the option c if you observe the option c option c is given as ch3 single bond ch single bond ch3 single bond ch2 single bond so we can write like this one or like this one if you observe this ch this ch is bonded to two ch3 groups here also same ch is bonded to two ch3 groups and that ch group is bonded to single bond ch2 single bond here also ch group is bonded to single bond ch2 single bond so we can write isobutyl group like this one or like this one so your option is option c yes the model is important butyl groups in your notebook you can uh, find already i explained four types of butyl groups are there normal butyl group isobutyl group secondary butyl group and tertiary butyl group so according to our given question question number 95 the option is c Yes, moving to the next question number ninety six. Next question number ninety six. Structure of the compound with the IUPAC name is. My dear students, in your material, the question is not given proper. You have to change the question as three ethyl. In your material, it is given as three methyl. It is not three methyl. You have to change it as three ethyl. Two hydroxy, four methyl, hexane, three in five inoic acid. So the name is given. IUPAC name is given. Whenever the IUPAC name is given, to write the structure, first we have to identify the root word. What is the root word? Hex is the root word. Six carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six carbons. Here I am taking this carbon as the first carbon. Second carbon, third carbon, fourth carbon, fifth carbon, sixth carbon. So six carbons. That is the hex is indicating the root word, and the functional group is oic acid. Oic acid means it is the carboxylic acid. Always starts at first carbon. So carboxylic acid means single bond C, double bond O, 
single bond was single bond H. Single bond C double bond was single bond OH is indicating it is carboxylic acid. Its suffix as oic acid. So that is the oic acid. Five in five in. That means between fifth carbon to sixth carbon, there is a triple bond. And next three in between third carbon to fourth carbon, there is a double bond. That is three in. So hex is completed. Three in is completed. Five in is completed. Oic acid is completed. Coming to the substitutes, three ethyl. Third carbon is having ethyl group, single bond C2H5, and uh, two hydroxy. Second carbon is having OH group, two hydroxy, and uh, four methyl. Fourth carbon is having methyl group, that is single bond CH3. And remaining are the hydrogens here. One hydrogen here, no hydrogens here, no hydrogens here, no hydrogens here, one hydrogen. So this should be the structure of three ethyl, two hydroxy, four methyl, hexane, three in, five ionic acid. Yes, in your options, if you check the option D in your material, if you check option D, that is represented. This same structure is represented like this. How it is represented? The compound is represented as. Yes, option D. Option D. Right? And here, what is there here? OH group. And uh, yes, and oic acid that is COOH. Yes, once observe this structure and observe this one, you can write like this very easily. So, here you have to check this is the functional group carbon first carbon, second carbon, third carbon, fourth carbon, and this is the fifth carbon. Yes, third carbon is having this group. What is this group? Here one carbon is there, here one carbon is there. So third carbon is having two groups containing hydrocarbon chain. That is ethyl group. That is three ethyl. And uh, two hydroxy. Two hydroxy means second carbon having OH group. That is two hydroxy. Next, the fourth carbon is having a single bond. Here we can have a carbon, right? This is the CH3 group. That is fourth carbon having CH3 group. That is four methyl. And the next hex, hex is indicating six carbons, right? One, two, three, four. Yes, this is the fifth carbon. This is the sixth carbon. Once again, one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. That is indicating hex three in between third carbon to fourth carbon double bond is there. That is three in five in between fifth carbon to sixth carbon triple bond is there. So simply we can write the structure like this. Otherwise we can write the structure like this also. Take the screenshot. Next question number 97. Which of the following is the most correct electron displacement for a nucleophilic reaction to take place? Nucleophilic reaction. What is meant by nucleophilic reaction? First of all, what is meant by an organic reaction? What is an organic reaction? In the organic reaction, the reactant which is containing the carbon atoms, once again, the reactant containing carbon atoms that is called as a substrate. Substrate reacts with a reagent then it gives intermediates and then finally that gives products and byproducts products and byproducts this is a complete organic reaction in general it is a general reaction general organic reaction substrates reacting with reagents 
first it gives the intermediates intermediates are giving products and by products yes reagents are classified into three types one is electrophile second one is nucleophile yes what is third one what is the third one free radicals the third one is free radicals of course one more is there one more is there that is carbenes but in the first phase level we are discussing about three types of reagents electrophilic reagents nucleophilic reagents free radical reagents yes once again read the question question number 97 which of the following is most correct electron displacement for a nucleophilic reaction so what is going to attack what is acting as a reagent nucleophile is acting as a reagent when a nucleophile is going to attack what is required in the substrate what is required in the substrate electrophile is required in the substrate because nucleophiles the nucleophiles can react with the electrophiles yes if you check the option b question number 97 if you check the option b once check the option b what is given in the option b ch3 option b ch3 single bond ch double bond ch single bond ch2 i am writing like this in the material it is given as ch2 i am writing like this single bond cl so this is the given option so this species is undergoing nucleophilic reaction is it correct is it correct how can you say it can undergo nucleophilic reaction why because means when electron displacement is observed what is electron displacement here chlorine is going to contain three lone pairs of electrons here pi bond electrons are there here lone pair is there here pi bond is there so lone pair of electrons here sigma bond pair of electrons here pi bond pair of electrons are there the lone pair of electrons and pi bond pair of electrons are in conjugation so whenever conjugation is there between lone pair of electrons and pi bond pair of electrons we can write the resonating structures so because of the resonating structures when the delocalization of this pi bond pair of electrons are taking place towards this one between this carbon and this carbon single bond becomes double bond between this carbon and carbon double bond becomes single bond as a result this bonded electrons sigma bonded electrons can completely taken by chlorine then chlorine is going to be removed the chlorine is going to be removed in the form of cl minus what is removed here nucleophile is removed minus ions are called as nucleophiles so this is the answer option b so whenever a nucleophile is removed whenever a nucleophile is going to be removed another nucleophile can attack right so instead of replacing this nucleophile one more nucleophile is going to be replaced so first of all due to conjugation between lone pair of electrons present on chlorine and pi bond pair of electrons present between carbon and carbon the lone pair of electrons and pi bond pair of electrons are in conjugation hence due to delocalization of this pi electrons between this carbon to this carbon this sigma bonded electrons are completely delocalized towards chlorine chlorine is removed in the form of cl minus cl minus ion minus ions are called as nucleophiles take the screenshot so this is all about uh, today's class remaining uh, previous years questions will be studied in the next video lecture thank you for watching the video lectures please watch every video lecture till the end and then try to practice remaining mcqs as many as possible if you have any doubt you can call me on my whatsapp number between 7:30 pm to 9 pm thank you one and all have a nice day